minutes as she was moving my neck in different positions to get the different flexion x-rays. She goes, yep, most people can't move like that. <laughs> Good morning, friends. I've got a pretty busy day today, so I figured I'd take you along and show you what a productive, healthy day in my life looks like. Now, I say healthy, obviously I'm chronically ill. I always have some level of pain, discomfort, body dysfunction, but today's a pretty good day. It's a beautiful, sunny day in Michigan, and I am not working so that I have enough energy to do all the errands that I need to do. I'm going to pick up some groceries through Kroger's pickup service. I have a podiatrist appointment and a rheumatologist appointment. So I'll take you along. I'll show you how I get my wheelchair in and out of the car by myself and just show you what a day in my life is like. I just got finished with my podiatry follow-up. I had some minor toe surgery a couple weeks ago and they were just checking to make sure it was healing all right, and it was. And everyone in there recognized me because when you have a bright purple wheelchair, I guess you're pretty memorable. Even the security guards on the way out were like, there she is with that fancy wheelchair. <laughs> I think they were referring to the smart drive because last time I was here, they helped me put it together and they were pretty impressed with it. Next stop, groceries. I'm a little early to pick up the groceries, but I realized that in this same shopping center is the perfect place to get an anniversary present for Matt. So it's a quick walk. I'm gonna ditch the wheelchair and just use my parking pass to get me in there and get me out pretty quick. Let's hope Matt doesn't watch this and get any clues based on my location. Success! That took like two minutes and I got exactly what I wanted. I hope he likes it. It's now actually my grocery pickup time, so I'm waiting for that. I just gave the lady my coupons. They're always surprised at how many coupons we have, but they're just the ones that come in the mail from Kroger, so I'm not a couponing expert. It just is that they send some good coupons, usually like $20 off our order, which is awesome. Hey, you have a lot of your items were in stock. Awesome, yay, I love trunk? that. Um, the wheelchair's in the trunk, but if you could fit them in the back seat or kind of on this side, anywhere up here You're is right. fine, yeah. Okay That's perfect, yeah. Okay. Thank you. The groceries and the wheelchair fit pretty nicely in this car. Thank goodness for coops. Hello, Poodle. Good to see you too. Did you think I was gone forever? That whole hour and a half? Okay, out. Out. Good girl. She knows that command pretty well. Girl, come here. Good girl. Wait, wait, free time. <laughs> Good girl, go. Excuse the messy backyard. We've had some landscaping done and they didn't clean up their mess very well, including an exposed utility line. Oh well. Look at me. Good girl. Wait. Wait. Free time. All right, nap time is over and it's time to head back out. I think I'm gonna grab some electrolyte mix and some lunch before I go to my rheumatologist appointment. Yes! Well, I was heading out to my appointment, but a really exciting package just came. We got the shelf that will stack our washer and dryer on top of each other in our bathroom. It's going to be awesome. Now I just have to control my ADD and not set it up right now and be late to my appointment. Yay! Oh, it's kind of heavy. All right. Whew. 
And that will wait there until <laughs> probably Matt gets home tonight. Goodbye, Poodle. Have a good day. Goodbye. appointment actually went really well. I was totally getting ready to tell you guys that as usual the rheumatologist appointment was just routine uselessness. But I happened to mention my spine issues and my kyphosis and she said, oh, craniocervical instability. I can order an x-ray for that. I do that for my RA patients all the time. I didn't know to ask her for that or that she even knew what that was. So I'm so glad that I mentioned it and that she caught on to it. I'm actually heading over to the hospital, which is pretty close by because I'm allowed to do uh, a walk-in for this kind of thing. So I'm gonna take my requisition over there and check out my spine. <sighs> okay, it was literally a two minute drive, made it to the hospital for the x-ray appointment. Let's see if I can make it through one extra appointment and one extra time getting the wheelchair in and out of the car before I get to go home and rest. I made it back home after my x-ray appointment. That was interesting. I was the last one of the day and the x-ray techs were really interested in EDS. They had a million questions. And so since I was the last one, we sat and chatted for a little bit and I answered some of their questions. So that was cool. <laughs> one of the techs, as she was moving my neck in different positions to get the different flexion x-rays, she goes, yep. Most people can't move like that, <laughs> which of course I already know because the Biton scale tells you right away whether or not you have a hypermobile spine. I've got that. Now we'll just see how much that's affecting my cervical spine. I, as most of you other fellow EDSers out there, I'm sure can relate to, I'm not really thinking that anything will show up because nothing ever does on these tests. It seems like you have test after specialized test and you look fine, you look normal. So I'm not putting a lot of stock in it, but it would be interesting, especially because I have a pretty strong suspicion of craniocervical instability. So we'll see, I'll keep you updated. I am tired, so I'm going to make some pizza and hang out outside with the pup, call it a day. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Let me know in the comments what's going on with you this week. What crazy things are out of place <laughs> or what joyful things are going on in your life today, this week, this month. I would love to hear if you want to see more videos. I don't have a regular upload schedule because chronic illness, but if you click subscribe and then click the bell icon, 
that will actually notify you when I upload videos so you don't have to constantly check or, you know, try and figure out my schedule because I don't have one. <laughs> so subscribe, hit the bell icon, and I'll just pop into your inbox every time a video of mine comes out. Hope to talk to you guys in the comments.